going down on a Wednesday. What's up? I'm going back out today. I'm hoping to actually make you a fish video. Hopefully get some actual fish on camera. Maybe. Ice some fish today, huh? I'm all ready to go. Got the shack back there. Bait and I'm out. Eight foot. Right away I'm gonna set a tip up here. I've read a few times that perch love night crawlers through the ice. So today I'm gonna test that. I've got a crappie rig. All right, so here we've got that crappie rig on a tip up here. I've got a fathead minnow on the bottom and a juicy night crawler on the top hook. And I'm just going to set this probably sit about a foot off the bottom here. Since we're catching perch, fishing for perch, we're going to set it on the light setting. All right, so we got that tip up set in kind of the deeper area of the lake. This snare rod just got a big fat head minnow on there. I'm going to put that kind of at a mid depth over here. And I'm going to keep that one about a foot and a half, two feet off the bottom as well. Now I'll just keep an eye on that tip. That thing will fold in half when I got a bite. All right, so what I'm doing today, I'm fishing perch mainly. So I got this small slender spoon. Um, I tipped it with some wax worms. Um, I've got that loaded just to get their attraction, their attention. It'll kind of flutter as it falls. They can see it from a mile away, it reflects light a lot. This one's actually a hammered gold. But then sitting right here next to me, I've got a tungsten. It's actually a glow tungsten made by Slayer Custom Jigs. Baddest glow jigs, I think, in the, in the industry. But I've got that sitting here right next to me, waiting in case there's some finicky fish down there. So we'll put this down and see if we can't see get some fish's attention here. I did have a couple swim by as I was setting everything up here, so. So I'll pound it on the bottom a few times. I haven't marked anything quite yet. Pound it on the bottom a few times and try to get their attention. Just built up some of that soot off the bottom. Then I'm just holding it about a foot off the bottom here. Just pound it in the same spot. Oh, there we go. We got a mark now. That's a fish. There we go. Oh, I lost him. He hit it, but I lost him. He's still down there. There we go. Got him that time. Oh, it's a little guy. Look at that. 
<laughs> That's kind of what I was wondering with that smaller bait. <laughs> Little tiny one. There's still fish down there, so I'm going to get back down there. There might be some big ones mixed in here. Got two or three of them down there now. Probably, there we go. I was going to say, I probably get one of them since they're competing. And they're just dinks. Wow. This isn't going to last very long if this is how it's going to keep going. I might have to upsize my bait. Ooh, there's a big mark down there right now. I'm going to hurry up and get down there. That's a big mark. That can't be a little dink like that last fish. That's a nice red mark. Oh, yeah, that might be a walleye. Let's get down there. It's starting to fade out. Here we go. Come on. He's coming right up for my bait, right up for it. I've got like four fish on me right now. I'm stacked up down here right now. Smack it on the bottom again. I wonder. I see a waxworm sitting here in my hole. I wonder if I don't, didn't knock one off when I dropped it down. I might be sitting down there without any meat on my bait. I got lookers and I got a lot of fish on my screen right now. It blows my mind that they're not hitting my bait here. You know what? I'm checking it. I got to. Yep, that's what I thought. No bait. I want to hurry up and get back down there because these fish will just move on if I can't keep their attention over here. So I'm going to load up some spikes. Wax these actually real quick and get right back down there. There's still another mark down there. Yeah, they're meeting it right away. Coming up for it. Oh, there we go. That guy railed it. Holy smokes. There's a better one. That's a keeper. There we go. All right. This guy just came up and smoked it. He wanted it. There was no question about that. That's a good 9, 10 inch right there. Ah. See if I can't get that hook out and get right back down again. Still marking fish, so. We'll keep that one. That's all it took was just to check that bait. I had a feeling that I didn't have bait on there because they'd come up and look at it, but they weren't hitting it, so knew something was up. I just love the way these slender spoons flutter on their way back down. Looks like a dying minnow or dying bait fish of some sort. Big, oh, big mark down there. I missed him too. Big marks. There's three of them. There we go. Got one of them. Oh yeah, another keeper. All right. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. South Dakota gold. That's another nice keeper right there. And once again, I've got fish still down there. So I'm gonna hurry up and get back. He sees my jig. He got my jig. All right, another nice one. 
gotta love it when they pull drag a perch like that there we go that's a good one All right, another markdown. Hope I brought enough wax worms with me. That's all I'm doing right there. Got a hammer gold slender spoon, the smallest size they make. Just loading the hook up with wax worms. And those wax worms definitely make a difference. I could tell there's fish down there looking at my bait. All over my bait, but wouldn't hit it because there was nothing to nothing for them to actually hold on to you know just a hard bait down there so oh yeah coming up for it what the heck got my line stuck on the freaking ice that wasn't great timing at all was it fish coming up and i get my ice stuck on the ice or my line stuck on the ice of course it scared them off oh i missed that one again There we go. Got him that time. Oh, another little guy. Perchy, 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 perchy. Woo! Nothing on the bobber, nothing on the snare, nothing on the tip up. I don't know how many I've caught on my jigging pole here. Six of them, probably. Three keepers. That bigger one's ten and a half. Perfect. Perfect eaters. Perfect eaters. Ba, 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 ba. I'm loving it. Might have to switch over. I'm going to switch over one of my gulps waxies and see if that changes anything might stand my hook a little better I'll tell you if I keep doing this all day I'm gonna run out of bait fast I haven't even been here a half hour maybe of course there's no mo no more fish on my screen oh my bobber's down though that's a fish there we go that's a better one another nice one oh yeah I was wondering when that was gonna happen. The old dead stick, come on buddy. Another nice keeper. Always have a dead stick next to your jigging pole. You're attracting him with that dead with that jigging pole. Then that dead stick's sitting there just waiting for them to eat it. And I got a big mark coming up right now. Literally just pick my pole up and there's a big mark on it. Huge mark actually. A couple of them. Let's see if I can't get one of them. There we go. Oh, that's a bigger fish. That is definitely a bigger fish. That's a nice fish, whatever it is. Be a big perch. Oh, that's a big walleye. Ooh, that's a nice walleye. That's a big old walleye. Don't come out, buddy. Don't come off, buddy. Ooh, that's a big fish. Ooh, I hope I get this fish in. This is a nice fish. Big old walleye. Oh, come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, this is my PB walleye through the ice, no doubt about it. This is a big fish. This is a nice fish. Oh, come on, buddy. He is stout. Just running circles around here. Got my bobber line. Best way to do that. Oh, here it comes. If he gets wrapped up around your dead stick line, just open that bail up. Don't even worry about messing with it. Just open that bail up. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Yeah, that's a fat, fat walleye. 
this is a thick, thick, thick walleye, you guys. Look at that fish. I'd say that fish is barely maybe 20 inches. But he's all of three pounds. He's just thick. Shoulders on him. Look at him. And you know what? There are nice walleyes in this lake, so I'm going to keep this fish. Yes! Gotta get a camera for the boss, or a picture for the boss. He just asked how I was doing. I'm busy, Corey. Trying to catch some fish. When they're all over it like that, it's almost instantaneous. It's gonna happen. There we go. Little guy. That's probably why that big walleye is in here. He's eating up on these guys. That's probably why he got so fat. That's gotta be the smallest fish in this lake. Just eat it, eat it. There we go, there we go, off. Oh. He gave me the slip. Flutter, spoon, flutter. There we go. Dink. Dink city. There's more fish down there again, though. There we go. Bobber. Fish on, fish on. That's a bigger fish. Good perchy. Good perchy. Oh. He's a little too small. He's only about five or six inches. Big marks. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. There goes the bobber again. Fish on. Fish off. Two hand in it. There we go. There we go, there we go, a little dink. Dink city. I am gonna take this moment to catch this fish. Fish on. Nice jumbo. Good perchy. Another jumbo. I'm gonna set up the shack. Got the shack set up. The bite has slowed down. <clears throat> well, I've only got about five minutes of battery left here so I'm probably gonna sign it off I'm not gonna be here much longer anyway but bites slowed down they're still coming up to look but they're really lethargic they're I don't know if they're just not hungry or caught on to my presentation or what but they're they're not wanting to bite anymore. I did switch up just now, see if that gets a couple more fish, but like I said, I'm not gonna be here a whole lot longer anyway. But, I wanted to thank you guys again for watching. Glad I could actually ice some fish this time for you, instead of just freezing our balls off like we did last time. But, you win some, you lose some. Thanks again for watching.